A NASA spacecraft has set sail for Jupiter and its moon Europa, considered one of the most promising places to find life beyond Earth. 미국 항공, 항공우주국 나사가 목성과 그 위성 유로파로 탐사선을 발사했습니다. 유로파는 지구를 제외하고 생명체가 발견될 가능성이 가장 높은 곳중 하나로 꼽히고 있습니다. So let's talk about Jupiter and Europa. Yeah, so Europa, uh, apparently the thought is that there's this icy crust on this moon okay. where an ocean is thought to be sloshing fairly close to the surface there. Oh. And that's why um, this mission specifically won't be actually landing uh, on this moon of Jupiter on mm -hmm. Europa, but rather uh, hovering over it about 25 kilometers above Europa's surface, which is considerably closer than any other spacecraft has ever gone before. And this is NASA's mm. largest ever craft built because mm -hmm. it has enormous solar panels, but it'll take five and a half years to reach Uh, Jupiter and Europa's surface, but um, Jupiter has 95 moons. Uh, oh, Europa's okay. Europa is about the size of our moon, oh. um, and there's an ice sheet about you know 15 to 24 kilometers thick, which mm. uh, scientists believe there are microorganisms possibly under the surface. But uh, Europa's, uh, just in case you wanted to know, was discovered by Galileo mm. uh, back in the 17th century, and it's one of four Galilean moons of Jupiter. Yeah. In Korean, mm -hmm. um, we call Europa uh, Wisong, uh, not to be confused with man-made satellites. Right. Uh, but uh, in English, it's called a moon. But uh, but the moon is also a satellite. It is a satellite. Right? Yes, yeah. and that's where the word comes from. 그렇죠. Believe, yeah. 그래서 어, 국내 언론에서는 유로파를 이제 위성이라고 지칭을 하고 있죠. 네, 위성이 맞는데 이제 인공 위성이 아니라 네, 위성 그냥 자연적인 위성이고 영어로는 moon이라고 표현을 하고 있습니다. Yeah, Jupiter obviously the biggest uh, planet in our solar system. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. You can name all the planets, Sue, off the top uh, of your head. Um, Mars, <laughs> Venus. Uh, well, here, let me give you a little uh, mnemonic, <laughs> okay. as they say, right? Please. Mnemonic, M-N-E-M-O-N-I-C. My very excellent mother just served us noodles. My very excellent mother, mother just served us noodles. Just served us noodles. 여러분, 요앞 글자 다 한번 지금 써보세요. Right. My very excellent mother just served us noodles. Yep. 자, 그러면 요첫 글자 하나하나가 행성들의 앞 글자가 되겠습니다. 어 right. oh, 그러면 너무 쉽네요. Yeah. Mars, Venus, Earth. Well, Mercury. Sorry. <laughs> Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Yes. Ah, 그렇구나. And you can add, uh, you can replace noodles with nine pizzas if you want Pluto ah. in there as well. But Pluto has been determined to be a dwarf 맞아. planet now, right? Mm. So growing up, I yeah. was taught that Pluto was a planet, but yep. it isn't anymore. Nope. 그래요. My very excellent mother just served us noodles. Yes. 아. 수금지와 목토 천해. 그렇죠. Yes. 그렇죠. 그렇죠. 맞습니다. 명 yes. See, 말하고 mnemonics, 싶은. Uh, you're supposed 음. to remember them, right? Yeah. Exactly. 이렇게 앞 글자만 따가지고 하는 거를 mnemonics라고 부릅니다. Uh, do you know the spelling of that word by yeah, any chance? Yeah, it's a funny spelling. Okay, actually, yes. it's M N E M O N I C. M N. It starts with an M N, but yeah. the M is silent, mm. so it's a mnemonic. M N E M N. Okay, and then and then E M O N I C. E M O N I C. I C. Oh, yes. Okay. And there are other ones. Uh, you know. Wow. A, a good math one, if you remember. Well, maybe you don't remember, but mm. my. Uh, please excuse my dear aunt Sally is another math one. So oh. it gives you the order in which you calculate equations. So parentheses, mm. exponents, you know, and then you do multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Mm. There you go. 그렇습니다. 네, 이렇게 앞 글자만 따서 외우는 게참 많죠, 사실은. Yeah. 네. 어, 행성 얘기를 하다 보니까 네, 요걸까지 봤었는데. <웃음> We, yes. We did digress. 네, 다시 돌아와서 <웃음> on Earth라는 표현을 보겠습니다. Uh, well, let's do set sail because uh, we are talking about NASA, right? Mm -hmm. Still. So when you set sail, you begin a voyage. Oh, sorry. Right? Did um, I get did I You're getting ahead of yourself. I am so getting ahead of myself. <laughs> sorry about that. When you set, set sail, sail. Yes, like the clipper here, right? <laughs> it's I when will. you begin a voyage. And <laughs> what's funny is though when you set sail, it's usually by sea or space. Mm -hmm. Because a sail is, you know, comes from the sailboat. Yes. But you would never say this for a road trip or mm. if you're flying. So you don't set sail. 그러네요. Yeah. 어디를 향해 출항하다의 느낌이에요. 그래서 배나 어, 뭐 이렇게 우주선 같은 mm -hmm. 경우에 쓸수 있을 것 같고 
Uh, promising. What's that? Yeah, if something's promising, it's likely to succeed mm. or yield sort of good results. It's mm. hopeful or bright. Right? 맞습니다. Yeah, promising이라는 거는 형용사인데요. 유망하다, 어, 총망된다라는 뜻이 되겠습니다. 자, 그럼 다시 한번 정신 붙들어 매고 <웃음> <웃음> 다시 읽어보겠습니다. A NASA spacecraft has set sail for Jupiter and its moon Europa, considered one of the most promising places to find life beyond Earth. Let's move on to the next headline. Archaeologists have unearthed the remains of an Armenian church dating back almost 2,000 years, making it the oldest structure of its kind in the country and one of the oldest in the world. 거의 2,000년 전에 아르메니아 교회 유적이 고고학 발굴팀에 의해 발견됐습니다. 이 교회는 아르메니아에서는 가장 오래됐으며 세계적으로도 가장 오래된 축에 속하는 것으로 알려졌습니다. Tell us more. Yeah, so the Armenian kingdom existed back in the 4th and 5th centuries. So mm-hmm. um, we're talking thousands, millennia mm. old here. But what this team of researchers uncovered was this uh, building uh, known to be a cathedral in sort of the central, the commercial central of this kingdom. Um, and it was believed that the church uh, was originally built in the 4th century AD. And this, uh, excuse me, con- coincides with the construction of another cathedral, also in Armenia, which mm. is considered the ancient kingdom's first cathedral and is often regarded as the oldest in the world. Wow. So uh, quite a, a remarkable discovery yes. here. The church, if you look at it, it's shaped like an octagon. It's mm. octagonal uh, with rectangular chambers extending out from four of the sides. Mm. An octagon has how many sides? Eight. Eight. Yes. That's why an octopus has eight octagons. Eight legs, or exactly. Legs. Yeah. And, you know, mm. scientists, the way they date these, uh, these old discoveries uh, is by carbon dating, right? They, they look mm. at the carbon that exists in, uh, in this case, the building uh, right. to, to sort of um, prove that this is thousands of years old. Mm, indeed. Well, first of all, the remains of this church have been unearthed. Yep. So it was dug up Mm -hmm. uh, as if it came out of the earth, right? Mm. Uh, You exhume it. Um, It's a popular movie, right? Pamyo, I think was, uh, I think the English name is exhume. Someone can double check on that. But but when you unearth something, it can also mean to make known or public. Mm. When you bring to light something, uh, for example, you unearth a scandal, then uh, you're making it be known. 네, 자, un이 붙은 earth라는 단어. 그러니까 unearth가 한 단어인데요. 이 earth는 명사로 땅이라는 뜻도 있지만 어, 이제 우리가 땅을 파는 행위를 말한다고 보면 돼요. 근데 un이잖아요. 그러니까 아 그렇게 말하면 더 헷갈릴 수 있겠다. 다시 음. 제가 설, 설명을 드리자면 은땅 땅을 on, 그러니까 땅을 파는 행위를 on earth라고 right. 하는 것이죠. 네. So you're taking it out of earth. 네, 네, 맞아요. 네, earth라는 게 땅을 파는 게 아니라 on earth가 땅을 파는 겁니다. Yeah. 그러다 보니까 무언가를 찾아내다, 발굴하다라는 비유적인 표현으로 많이 쓰고 아까 얘기한 exhume도 비슷한데요. Mm-hmm. E-X-H-U-M-E, exhume이라는 동사도 역시 on earth처럼 뭔가 발굴하다, 파내다 이런 뜻이 있습니다. 그리고 영화 파묘는요. 영어로 exuma 예, 이렇게 예, 뒤에 이렇게 라틴어처럼 yeah. exuma 이렇게 했더라고요. It's not an English word. No, it's not. Yeah. 음. 근데 이제 뭔가 파내다. 이건 exume입니다. 자, 그 다음에 date back. Yeah, if something dates back to something as a phrasal verb, it means mm. something's existed uh, since, since a particular time or uh, a length of time. So in this case, we talked about dating back 2,000 years. So yeah. uh, this is a length of time. Or you can just... say a specific time. So mm. dating back to uh, last week, for yeah, example. Yeah, exactly. Dating back, um, 역사가 어디까지 돌아간다라는 뜻인데요. 그러니까 언제 것이다 라는 의미로 dating back last week 그러면 은 mm-hmm. 지난주에 있었던 일, 뭐 지난주에 음, 있었던 사건에 대해서 말한다면 은 last week 붙이면 되겠지만 right. 여기서는 dating back almost 2,000 years, 2,000년 전의 것이다, 이런 뜻이 되겠습니다. Right. To date back does not mean you are getting back together or reuniting with an ex. 
아, 네. 그렇죠. 네. It could <웃음> sound like that. It, could, could, oh, yeah. I, it never crossed my mind, right. but now I can't stop thinking about it. <웃음> Date back. 그러니까 yeah. 다시 데이트하다가 아닙니다. No. 자, 다시 한번 제가 읽어보겠습니다. Archaeologists have unearthed the remains of an Armenian church dating back almost 2,000 years, making it the oldest structure of its kind in the country and one of the oldest in the world. 자, 이어서 마지막 헤드라인입니다. Pilots of a flight from Sydney to Colombo were involved in a tense verbal altercation, during which one pilot was locked out of the plane's cockpit, according to airline officials. 호주 시드니에서 스리랑카 콜롬보로 향하던 한 항공편에서 조종사 간의 심한 말다툼이 벌어져 이 과정에서 한때 조종사 중한 명이 문이 잠긴 조종실 안으로 들어가지 못하는 일이 발생했습니다. Yeah. <웃음> Okay. So, uh, what happened? You know, details of why this dispute happened between these two pilots is sort of unknown at this mm. point. But the facts that we do know are that the first officer, mm-hmm. so not the not the main pilot, but the first mm. officer requested a toilet break. Mm. Now, standard safety procedures say that when one of the one of the crew members or when when one of the pilots needs to take a break, then one of the cabin crew members needs to come into the Uh, cockpit sure. to ensure that there's at least two people mm-hmm. um, present there. But when the first officer was waiting for the toilet, uh, before a cabin crew member could come into the uh, cockpit, the captain closed and locked the door and refused to open it. Uh, he was having a little fit, it mm. seems like. Um, mm. You know, words were exchanged through, uh, you know, there's a communication link between the, the rest of the cabin and the cockpit. Um, and it took some time. It took a senior uh, cabin crew member to sort of diffuse the situation. But, um, you know, after the flight landed, you know, the first officer lodged a complaint and now the case has been referred to authorities there. Mm, but um, as sort it of, should. It was probably something petty anyways, but you have the, the safety and the lives of hundreds of people. Yeah. You know, it pr- probably should not. This was not professional. I'd say. Not at all. It's yeah. quite unforgivable in many ways. Um, let's have a look at the word verbal altercation. Yeah, so if something's verbal, it's spoken, right? It's not written in words. And an altercation is sort of a, a dispute, a, a skirmish, um, not an all-out brawl. Or you could describe a brawl as an altercation, but an altercation, um, you can describe it as minor. You okay. have a minor altercation, mm. but it's any basically noisy, heated, or angry dispute. Mm. 말싸움 같은 거를 uh, altercation이라고 할수 있는데 이걸 mm. 좀더 구체적으로 verbal이란 단어를 붙여서 진짜 말다툼 말싸움이라는 걸 강조한 것 같아요. Verbal이라는 것 자체가 이제 말로 하는 것이다라는 mm-hmm. 뜻이고 altercation이 그런 이제 uh, 작은 다툼이죠. But you can also have a, a sort of a an altercation between armies or navies. Um, mm. There was an altercation between the two countries at sea, for okay. example, right? Mm. Uh, You can call that an altercation as well. Which is slightly bigger, but it's not slightly an all-right war. A, right, or, exactly. All-right war, I should right. say. Uh, 그러니까, 네, 그러네요. 조금 더큰 규모에서 다툼이 있을 때도 아니면 어떤 물리적인 충돌이 있을 때도 mm-hmm. altercation을 쓸수 있는데 여기서는 언쟁의 의미로 보시면 됩니다. Right. In the news, for example, you see a lot of uh, recently with Chinese military forces and uh, U.S. jets, for example, in the South Chinese, China Sea, Um, they have altercations where the two yeah. air forces might fly 음. very close to each other. 음, 그러네요. 자, 그때는 어, 이게 뭐 때에 따라서는 분쟁이 될 수도 있고 mm-hmm. 충돌이 될 수도 있는데 그게 yeah. 이제 아주 큰 규모는 아닌 거죠. Yeah. 알겠습니다. Uh, altercation, A-L-T-E-R-C-A-T-I-O-N. And to be locked out of somewhere. Yeah, place. it means yeah. you're prevented from entering. Uh, mm. It could be a building, a room, a vehicle uh, yeah. as well by locking the door. So mm. uh, a lot of times, I guess in this day and age, can you still lock yourself out of your car with your I, smart key? I don't and, think so. Yeah, mm. I, I guess that's not a problem anymore. But mm. And even in your house, because in Korea you have <laughs> your security codes, yeah. we basically don't use keys anymore, right? We don't. Yeah. Yeah, I got locked out of my house uh, about seven, eight years ago because I got locked out of my balcony. Uh-huh. I had a very good security system so that burglars oh. couldn't come into the balcony. Yes. Um, and so the moment it closes, it locks itself. Oh and I didn't think of that. Did you I have went your phone out. with you? I, I, 
don't think I did. Okay. So I ended right. up yelling down <laughs> to the people outside the building, help me, help me. And then I got, yeah. And um, I got uh, the fire brigade to come and um, firemen came. And, and then I had to wow. shout my, uh, the password, the, you know, the, the code, the code for yeah. my house yeah. so that they could come in. So all so the neighbors like, knew. Everyone in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> like, my, my secret <laughs> code yeah. is like one, two, three, four, whatever right. it was. And then they came in. Uh-huh. And of course, I immediately right. changed it. Wow. But it yeah. became a whole huge ordeal. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> well, lucky you're safe now. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, be locked out. 이런 것은 어딘가에 못 들어간다는 뜻인데요. Lock라는 게 문을 잠근다는 뜻이 있죠. 그러니까 문이 잠겨서 못 들어가는 겁니다. 음, 음, 이 경우에는 이제 그 조종실, 비행기 조종실은 바로 cockpit. 라고 하는데요. Mm-hmm. 네, 그거를 이제 잠근 거죠. 안에 있었던 파일럿가 밖에 있는 파일럿 못 들어오게. 그래서 밖에 있었던 파일럿가 he was locked out of the cockpit. Yeah. 이렇게 표현할 수 있고 집에 만약에 못 들어갔으면 I was locked out of my house. 차에 못 들어가는 상황 요즘엔 없지만 yeah. 옛날에는 다 열쇠로 했기 때문에 uh, I got locked out of my own car. Yeah. 이런 식으로. Here's a more contemporary example. Okay. I was locked out of my phone. So ah, if you put one. in the wrong password yeah. or you know um, pattern, you can get locked out for you know sometimes for hours. Or, yeah. um, if you don't have a password, you can oh. be locked out of a site website. You're too. so right. Yeah. 맞습니다. 아, 요즘엔 이제 비밀번호 잘못 입력하면은 뭐 삼회인가 오회인가 yeah. 이거 계속 잘못하면 한동안 못 쓰죠. 그때도 I got locked out of my own phone. Yeah. 이렇게 표현할 수 있겠네요. All right. Well, here's the headline again. Pilots of a flight from Sydney to Colombo were involved in a tense verbal altercation during which one pilot was locked out of the plane's cockpit, according to airline officials.